Hi guys, this is AC Game. We're back with a new video on Illusion Connect. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the characters that are uh, that came out of the game. So we're going to be taking a look at the skills to see if any of them are top tier or someone I need to summon for. Now, I do apologize for not making a video on Illusion Connect like before the update came out, before the characters were released, because I usually do that. But um, because of all the new releases that came out, I needed to pay attention to them just a little bit. But yeah, I'm back in Illusion Connect. Let's go ahead and take a look at all these brand new characters. Don't forget to like the video subscribe stay tuned for more content on illusion connect let's get to 10k subscribers at 10k subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so definitely need to stay tuned for that now i know i haven't done my showcase on the brand new character and i know i haven't actually gotten her to six stars um, the brand new character i'm talking about is obviously where is she at re sp re um, i got her all the way to level 300 but she's still at five stars i want to make sure i get her to six stars before i do a showcase on her anyway let's go down and take a look at all the brand new characters um so i believe there's three new characters we got the not her sorry we got jane over here who reminds me a lot of phoebe we also got who else Ginny over here oh my days her eyes is beautiful but the design isn't the best not gonna lie she kind of looks bland if you get what i mean and then we got this character over here senku kumaru but anyway i do like this design for this character it looks very very nice um out of all the new characters that came out i, pr I prefer this one not gonna lie just because of the uniqueness the different art style compared to the other characters like i said if illusion connect sometimes you get characters like you they, they fit into this world and then you get some random character that doesn't fit completely and it's just like random but yeah um jane over here we're going to take a look at her first now she is a light unit which we already have a lot of but let's go ahead and see so she is a 12 cost character i'm not sure if she's the battle boss character because she does look like a battle boss character but anyways let's go ahead and see what she can do jane gains gifted gifted appears in hand first at the start of battle when jane is present increases the defense of units within four adjacent grid by 10 percent and recovers 10 rage per second at grid five increases the defense of units within four adjacent grid by an additional five percent for the hp for the defense sorry and an additional 10 um, rage per second so 20 um so basically recovering rage faster that's decent and it's a passive skill so that's actually nice go over to unique skill over here jane and the allied leaders gain a shield okay with hp equal to jane's attack 250 percent searching in the database different effects will be activated depending on the battlefield if there are no more allies present jane gains a stack of death resistance up to one stack if there are no enemy partners present, recovers 200 rage for the allied leader if ignis is present in the hand this shield um effect increases by 150 percent what is ignis so far based on what i can see she looks pretty decent with this um the death resistance also great to have but there is a condition to uh, proc that um if there's no enemy partners present recovers 200 rage for the allied leader that would be useful for the um what's called the light leader the female character i forgot the name already but yeah that could be useful for her because then you'll be able to stack more of the buff and they do an like, ultimate with that character so relatively decent skill at grade 4 gains a shield with hp equal to jane's attack 250 percent plus an additional 50 percent and recovers allied leader rage by an additional 200 percent okay okay yeah yeah i see her being very very useful especially if you go over to this leader i'm talking about let's go ahead and see who i'm talking about forgotten the name um axe of dawn yes so this axe of dawn leader will be perfect for her um yeah especially because she's a light unit you can actually use her with the axe of dawn so as a supportive role as well as the shield being able, able to protect her that would be nice because axe of dawn is mainly mainly boxes herself does a huge amount of damage but she doesn't defend herself so her will be perfect for that anyways i'm um, going over to special jane attacks a single enemy and deals attack 160 percent damage as uh, grade six this increases by 40 percent and yeah so you build this character a defensive role slash supportive role so yeah pretty useful character to have um yeah not bad not bad i want to say broken relatively useful character you definitely need, could use her in your team going over to Ginny over here now she is a spell character so i'm actually expecting a lot of usefulness from her typically spell characters are actually very very good in the game take a look at all of them right now they are actually very very good going over to the passive right now uh when Ginny is present and there is no allied murders 
one allied partner would become a murderer when a murderer dies Ginny recovers uh, increases attack and max hp by 20 percent and recovers all hp not affected by curse oh okay Ginny becomes cannot become the murderer okay after rereading this over and over again i finally uh, understood what it's trying to say so um initially when you you go into a match none of your characters or not any of the characters you put before um Ginny is present before you put her in none of the characters have the murderer status on them but then when you drop Ginny, one of them will be automatically given that murderer status and if the enemy decides to kill that unit she gains a boost basically um with recovering of hp doesn't really tell us how much of the hp recovery she does um a max hp by 20 percent oh by 20 percent okay uh, yeah 20 percent hp recovery seems useful seems useful um Ginny increases max hp and attack by 20 percent plus an additional 10 percent okay it's an all right passive i wouldn't say too broken i mean if she's doing aoe attack with this i think it might be broken wait a minute 600 percent damn Ginny attacks a single enemy or oh, single random enemy units and deals attack 600 percent damage also attacks all murderers except the targets and deals attack 600 damage dealing 60 percent less damage to leaders um i'm not really too sure how broken this is but if you take a look at the grade 4 effect plus an additional 200 percent to damage damn okay i think as a damage dealer she might be very very useful i still need to test this character out because i'm hella confused on what she can do whether she's broken whether she's good but i'm just going to save my opinion on this character and um, we will see about that i probably will not summon for her i don't really like her design too much i mean her skill seems all right Ginny attacks a single enemy and deals attack 200 200% damage so yeah um i'm not really too sure tell me down in the comment section because i'm hella confused on this character i'm not gonna lie uh but she seems pretty decent but i'm not sure if she's broken next up we got this summoner character which actually which last summoner characters did we get that was actually pretty good let's see mm, ruby okay yeah she was pretty decent um any other good summoner characters that i made a video on oh yeah we did get sonia but i do believe she might not be the best um i did take a look at her skills and i used her a bit and the fact that she can transform into a leader to transform your leader away i don't really like that skill but yeah we haven't recently got any like broken broken um summoner character but we might get one with this character so going over to the passive oh damn that's a lot of words summon mad cloud when okay senku senki joins the battle mad cloud has 100 of senki's attack 100% of his damage, uh, defense, and 150% of his HP, and 100, 1000 of his rage. Mad Cloud unleashes Tiger War when its uh, rage is full, dealing attack 220% damage to all enemies. Max 2 Mad Cloud on the field, okay. Lineup skill, oh, there's an activation requirement. Leader is Sakura, or oh, Sakura Leader is actually pretty good. Or Axe of Dawn, okay, that's pretty decent. Activation effect, the damage of Mad Cloud Tiger Ward becomes true damage, or oh, true damage, okay. That could be nice, nice, sorry. At grade 5, Mad Cloud has an extra 50% of Sen Senki's HP when summoned against all of Senki's buff. Tiger Ward deals attack plus an additional 50% of damage um yeah another decent character i'm not gonna lie attack has so you can only summon series but yeah it, it seems very very useful it's based on a passive going over to the unique skill attacks a single enemy and deals attack 400 percent damage if mad cloud is present recovers 30 percent of max hp and 500 rage to mad cloud um so if he does the unique ability he gains 30 percent yeah 500 okay yeah i see that it's prioritizing the mad cloud over himself so Sankey is a pretty decent character based on what I can see. Uh, the Mad Cloud is what you're going to rely on, especially with the ability. Once again, another character I can't tell whether or not it's broken or whether it's another like OP character. But yeah, I think I, I might want to summon for this character. I'm not going to lie. I, I think I, there might be some usefulness with this unit over here. Um, I'm more interested in this unit over here than I am with Ginny. But yeah, I'm relatively still confused on whether both of these characters are very, very top tier. But yeah, I can say that Jane over here is going to be useful with the recovery of the HP and protecting the Axe of Dawn. But you can also use Sankey as well with the Axe of Dawn with the activation requirements for his passive. But yeah, he seems to have a lot of uh, utility. So you can go ahead and summon for this character. Now, I'm not really too sure whether they're broken, like I said. But yeah, that is all the three characters that were released to the game. I'm still waiting for the collaboration with the ReZero units. Hopefully, they're like good units I can summon for. And I'm also waiting for the first anniversary. The first anniversary will be coming out soon i think i believe like in september october one of them days i can't really remember 
when the game was released but yeah i can't wait for that we have to see what illusion connect has planned for us don't forget to like the video subscribe stay tuned for more content on illusion connect let's get to 10k subscribers at 10k subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so definitely stay tuned for that it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out